rights or full participation in our democracy. Let's go back to the facts of this case, if we could, before I answer the caller's question directly. The facts of this case were a nonprofit corporation named Citizens United wanted to run a movie. They created a documentary film called Hillary the Movie. They distributed it on DVD, they put it in movie theaters, and then they decided, let's put it on cable for video on demand. And this is where they ran headlong into McCain-Feingold, because McCain-Feingold says that any uh, communication that mentions a candidate over broadcast, satellite, or, or um, cable within 30 days of a primary election can be banned if it's run by a corporation or a union. Now, this ad, this documentary by Citizens United was actually banned, and it was not permitted. So the Supreme Court, when they finally uh, got the case, asked the government, so we understand it's your position that you may ban movies. Let me ask you, is it also your position that you may ban books? And the federal government answered what many people who practice in this area realize, but the Supreme Court hadn't thought about. He said, yes. If a book says vote for or vote against a candidate and it's paid for by a corporation, which all of them are, Simon & Schuster is incorporated, then the government claims the right to ban that book. I think it's fair to say that that answer shocked the Supreme Court and they immediately asked for additional briefs from all parties and a second round of oral argument, which is very rare for the Supreme Court to do.